Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about endocrine system and its important MCQs. Let's move to the question number one. The cells affected by a specific hormone, they are known as endocrine cells, no, neurocrine cells, no, target cells, yes. The cells which are affected by the hormones, they are known as target cells of those hormones specifically. That's why right option is the Charlie. And endocrine glands are commonly derived from endoderm, but some of the glands such as uh, adrenal medulla is derived from ectoderm and adrenal cortex and other steroid hormone secreting glands. They are secreted, uh, they are produced by mesoderm, but most of the glands such as pancreas, thymus, thyroid and parathyroid, they are secreted by endoderm. So right option is Charlie. One of the following set of hormones do not belong to protein category. Aldosterone and cortisol, they're both steroid hormones. So right option is Delta over here. A hormone secreted from the neurosecretory cells of the hypothalamus is oxytocin. As well as ADH, they are secreted from neurosecretory cells of the hypothalamus and they are stored in the posterior lobe of pituitary, Charlie. Smallest endocrine gland in the human body is pineal gland. It's a pine shaped, pine cone shaped gland present in the human brain. Smallest organ as well as smallest endocrine gland in the human body. Pick the odd one out. Slightly gland out of this gland is an exocrine gland, while others in the list they are endocrine. So delta should be the answer. All of the following are tropic hormones except tropic hormones are those hormones which activate other glands to secrete their secretions or hormones. Out of these hormones, uh, they, all of these they are secreted by anterior pituitary, but prolactin it acts on the mammary glands which are exocrine in their nature. So Charlie is the right answer. A hormone primarily acting upon the bones and muscles causing their growth is STH or somatotrophic hormone. And hands and feet, they get enlarged in, in the gigantism as well as acromegaly. But in case of gigantism, there is a uh, sufficient or very large increase in the height as well, a great increase in the height, height as well. But in case of acromegaly on jars, only jars and feet, they get enlarged. So right option over here is Delta. One of the following is not a stimulus for the release of ACTH. Adrenocorticotrophic hormone from anterior pituitary is released under the stimulus of low steroid level in the blood by direct stimulation of the stress, as well as due to hypothalamic releasing factor. But adrenal medulla is not concerned with the release of adrenal cortex hormones or their releasing stimuli. So Delta is the right option. A function which is not attributed to thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones, they perform a variety of functions. They are involved in growth and metabolism, stimulation of heart rate, synthesis of proteins, but muscle degradation is not attributed to thyroid hormone. Antidiuretic hormone, oxytocin, glucocorticoid, glucagon, and parathyroid hormone are the options, and you have to relate some of these important uh, functions to these hormones. So, which of the following raises blood glucose level? It is glucagon, as well as some glucocorticoids, they also cause an increase in blood glucose level. So, C and D both actually stimulate uterine muscle contraction. It is oxytocin stimulate water absorption by the kidneys, anti-diuretic hormone or ADH, vasopressin, and stimulate release of milk by the mammary glands. It is oxytocin. And raise blood glucose and stimulate breakdown of protein. It is glucocorticoid because glucagon increases blood glucose level mainly by the breakdown of glycogen. And parathyroid hormone, it increases blood calcium level. Here are some, some of the glands and you have to relate some, these hormones with these glands. For example, cortisol, it is released from adrenal cortex. So F is the right option. 
Growth hormone is released by anterior pituitary and oxytocin is stored in posterior lobe. While insulin is produced by the beta cells of pancreas and epinephrine from adrenal medulla. Which of these is not a pair of antagonistic hormones? Insulin is antagonistic to glucagon, calcitonin to parathyroid, and aldosterone to ANH because ANH reduces sodium absorption and ADH, aldosterone increases sodium absorption. But thioxine and growth hormone, they are not antagonistic to each other. So delta. The anterior pituitary controls the secretions of both thyroid and adrenal cortex as well as ovaries and testes. So delta is the right option. Diabetes mellitus is associated with too much glucose in the blood, beta. And which hormone and conditions are mismatched? Cortisol does not uh, cause uh, myxodema, it is not related to myxodema, while growth hormone is uh, related to acromegaly, thyroxine, goiter, and parathyroid hormone under activity can be related with tetany or low blood calcium level. So alpha is the right option. Hypoglycemia or low blood glucose level inhibits secretion of which of the following? It will inhibit the secretion of insulin because we know insulin it decreases blood glucose level and high blood glucose level is the stimulus for the release of insulin instead of hypoglycemia. But so right option is beta. The difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes is that for type 2 diabetes insulin is produced but not used. Yes, it happens and type 1 results from the lack of insulin production due to the autoimmune disorder and destruction of beta cells. So alpha seems the right option. Which of the following hormone is are found in females? Estrogen, testosterone and follicle stimulating hormone. All these hormones can be found in females including testosterone which is secreted by the adrenal cortex in females. So delta. Parathyroid hormone it causes bone tissue to break down and release calcium into the bloodstream. As you can see, it acts on the bones for the efflux of calcium from the bones. It acts on the kidneys for decreased loss of calcium and it acts on the gut as well for the enhanced absorption of calcium ions so that blood calcium level could be increased. Tropic hormones, the hormones that affect other endocrine tissues, which of the following would be considered a tropic hormone? Calcitonin, melatonin, as well as oxytocin, they are the primary hormones. They do not affect other endocrine tissues, but follicle stimulating hormone is considered as a tropic hormone. Which of the following statements about the pituitary gland is incorrect? Pituitary gland, uh, it, the anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary gland, they do not uh, communicate with each other, while the pituitary lies inferior to the hypothalamus. Growth hormones and prolactin are secreted by the anterior lobe, yes, and exons run between the hypothalamus and posterior lobe, as you can see. That's why it's uh, also known as neurohypophysis, because exons are found over here. And there's no communication between anterior and posterior lobe. So right option is Charlie. Shortly after ingesting a big plate of carbohydrate rich pasta, you measure your blood's hormone levels what results would you expect compared to before and after the meal? High insulin as well as low glucagon. Yes, alpha seems the right option because uh, after having a carbohydrate food, there will be high glucose level and you will require insulin to lower down it. And there will be low glucagon as compared to the uh, condition before getting that meal because before getting that meal, you were having a low blood glucose level and glucagon was being released for the production of glucose from glycogen or other sources. So alpha. Steroid and peptide hormones typically have in common. The building blocks, they vary. That's why alpha is not the right option. The solubility in cell membranes, no. Steroids are soluble, but peptides are not. Their requirement for travel to the bloodstream. Yes, it's a common requirement for all types of hormone. The location of the receptors is also variable. Peptide hormones, they have receptors outside the cells, while 
steroid hormones mostly inside the cell. So Charlie is the right option. Which hormone is incorrectly paired with its function? We know oxytocin is concerned with stimulation of uterine contraction as well, or thyroxine, it stimulates metabolic processes. ACT stimulates the release of glucocorticoids by the adrenal cortex, but insulin, it does not uh, stimulate glycogen breakdown. Instead, it promotes formation of glycogen. So right option will be Charlie. The islets of Langer hands contain a large number of beta cells with associated with insulin production. So right option is alpha. And increased levels of vasopressin or EDH caused increased water reabsorption in the distal parts of nephron in the kidneys. So alpha. Find out the mismatch pair from the given options. We know ADH is not an amino acid derivative, but it's a polypeptide hormone having nine amino acids. Glucagon is a protein. Oxytocin is a polypeptide as well, having nine amino acids. Cortisone is a steroid. So right option is beta. A patient suffering from diabetes in spiders can suffer from all except this disease is not related with insulin. It's related with ADH. So decreased insulin is an irrelevant option over here. So delta is the answer. Otherwise, large amount of dilute urine and increased thirst, they are the indication of this disease. Thank you so much. Uh, this was all about some important questions related to endocrine system of the human. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.